Hello, and welcome back to another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. Today, we're going to be looking at the top 10 ways humanity could become extinct. It's only a matter of time before some kind of cataclysmic event comes along and wipes us all out. The question is, will this disaster be of our own making? Number 10, Asteroid. Let's start off with a classic. If an asteroid more than a mile across manages to collide with the Earth, we could all be in a spot of bother. It probably killed off the dinosaurs. Who are we to say we're any better than gigantic monster super lizards? Think we could just call on Bruce Willis and co to act out their asteroid nuking plan from the hit film Armageddon? Think again. We're sorry to inform you that scientists have concluded that destroying an incoming mile-wide asteroid would take a bomb a billion times more powerful than any bomb that's ever been detonated on this planet before. Basically, we'd be screwed. Number 9. Supervolcanoes There's a controversial theory that around 74,000 years ago, a so-called supervolcano named Mount Toba erupted in Indonesia and, in doing so, nearly wiped out all of humanity. That doesn't sound good, does it? Unfortunately, Mount Toba is still around today. Supervolcanoes like Mount Toba are capable of spewing out 450 cubic kilometers worth of magma. That's 500 times more magma than the Philippines' Mount Pinatuba spat out during its famous 1991 eruption, which is enough to incinerate everything within 100 kilometers. Basically, a couple of supervolcano eruptions going off in a relatively short period of time could absolutely spell humanity's doom. Number 8. Robot Revolution It's just the stuff of science fiction, you may say. But a robot uprising in which a super powerful robot intelligence decides to take over the world has been posited as a very real concern by some theorists. In fact, the United Nations has recently called for a ban on the development of all killer robots. Not the sort of decree you hand out unless things are already looking problematic. The fact of the matter is that the robots and artificial intelligences that we are making are getting more and more lifelike. And when we are now at the stage when we have a video of robots happily promising to destroy all humans, we need to take pause. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> Number seven, World War III. The world's collective arsenal has come a long way since the last global war in the 1940s. With the world's superpowers demonstrating a greater aptness for the art of killing than ever before, if another world war were to kick it off, it might just be our last. The Doomsday Clock, a symbolic clock maintained by the members of the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists Science and Security Board, is meant to reflect the countdown to a potential global catastrophe, in particular nuclear war. Currently and tellingly, the clock is set at 3 minutes to midnight. Number 6. Pandemic. If Gwyneth Paltrow begins to get sick, we're all doomed. As anyone who's seen the first 10 minutes of global pandemic thriller Contagion will tell you, Gwyneth is going to be the root cause of the fall of humanity. The only question is whether the infectious disease she spreads is going to be a natural disaster or a man-made one. Anyone who wants to launch one of those world wars we were talking about before may find it more effective in this modern age to create a pathogen in a lab and release it into the populace. Of course, if the germ warfare doesn't get us, we can just take a look back at history to see events like the Black Plague, which killed one in four Europeans in the 14th century, or influenza, responsible for two million deaths between 1918 and 1919. Number 5. The Grey Goo Problem Nanotechnology sounds like it could be a good idea. If we could build microscopic self-repairing robots, imagine what we could do. 
We could send them inside patients to perform surgery humans never could. We could use them to explore places and environments we would never survive in. And they could assemble more microscopic robots to help get the job done faster. That last part could lead to what is known as the gray goo problem. And trust us, that doesn't sound great. A theory put forward by nanotechnology pioneer Eric Drexler suggests that in the event of an industrial accident, those nanobots could get out of control, continually self-replicating until they have literally consumed the Earth and all life on it. We think using the word problem to describe that scenario is a hell of an understatement. Number 4. Global Warming 97% of scientists agree, this one's bad and it's on us. The fact that we are still talking about whether or not this one is bad, when it so clearly is, is getting in the way of our governments actually doing something about it. The longer we drag our feet, the greater the chance that the Earth will end up like Venus, where your average day is a balmy 900 degrees Fahrenheit. We probably don't need to tell you that humanity is not going to live through too many days like that. Number 3. Particle Accelerator Accident Scientists love throwing things at walls to see what sticks. Hopefully, they get to learn a little something in the process. But the recent trend of throwing subatomic particles at one another until they smash together could cause the end of life as we know it which would be annoying. There are worries that if we keep up with our particle accelerating ways, at facilities like the Large Hadron Collider and the Relativistic Heavy Ion Collider, we could accidentally create a black hole, which we'll pretty much call time on the planet. The scientists behind these experiments are well aware of the black hole talk. In fact, at the Large Hadron Collider site, there is actually a black hole creation button. Sure, the button is a joke. It doesn't do anything, except cause gales of laughter amongst theoretical physicists. But as the saying goes, behind every joke is a little truth. Number 2. Alien Invasion With more and more experts coming out of the woodwork, to suggest that the likelihood of alien life existing out there in the cosmos is extremely likely, we should really begin to ask the question, if these aliens pop on by for a visit, what's the chances of them being good neighbors? Stephen Hawking, whose opinion we pretty much have to hold up as gospel according to the law, puts it pretty bluntly. If aliens ever visit us, I think the outcome would be much as when Christopher Columbus first landed in America, which didn't turn out well for the Native Americans. But even if these alien visitors don't want to kill or enslave us, there are plenty of other potential problems they could cause. They may want to plunder our resources, leaving us with nothing to sustain ourselves. They could bring with them germs that might not be compatible with our biological makeup. Or it might simply be the case that the aliens' pets like eating humans, in much the same way that the Dutch colonists' cats and rats did in the dodo when they brought them to Mauritius. Needless to say, we don't want to go the way of the dodo. I knew it. This is an alien, and you guys are from some government agency trying to keep it under wraps. No. <laughs> number one, we're already dead. Our number one is the most confronting. What if this world isn't real and we're all living in the Matrix? All it would take to end it all would be a computer malfunction or a system reboot. Somehow, experts don't think this is as absurd as you probably do. Some suggest that it is even more likely than not that we are living in a simulation set up by our descendants in the future. In order for us to look back on the past, Try saying that 10 times fast. Thanks for watching another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. And remember, it's our duty to entertain and yours to subscribe.